Chapter 5. The Privilege and Duty of the Church. The following relates to the Battle Creek Church, but describes the condition and privileges of brethren and sisters scattered abroad. I saw that a thick cloud enveloped them, and that a few rays of light from Jesus pierced this cloud. I looked to see those who received this light, and saw individuals earnestly praying for victory. It was their study to serve God. Their persevering faith brought them returns. The light of heaven was shed upon them, but the cloud of darkness over the church in general was thick. They were stupid and sluggish. My agony of soul was great. I asked the angel if that darkness was necessary. Said he, Look ye. I then saw the church begin to rise and earnestly plead with God, and rays of light began to penetrate this darkness, and the cloud was removed. The pure light of heaven shone upon them, and with holy confidence their attention was attracted upward, said the angel, this is their privilege and duty. Satan has come down in great power, knowing that his time is short. His angels are busy, and a great share of the people of God suffer themselves to be lulled to sleep by him. The cloud again passed over and settled upon the church. I saw that it would be only by earnest effort and persevering prayer that this spell would be broken. The alarming truths of the Word of God had stirred the people of God a little. Now and then they would make feeble efforts to overcome, but they soon tired and sank back into the same lukewarm state. I saw that they did not have perseverance and fixed determination. Let the seeker for the salvation of God possess the same energy and earnestness that he would have for a worldly treasure, and the object would be gained. I saw that the church may just as well drink of a full cup as to hold an empty one in the hand or at the mouth. It is not the plan of God to have some eased and others burdened. Some feel the weight and responsibility of the cause and the necessity of their acting that they may gather with Christ and not scatter abroad. Others go on free from any responsibility, acting as though they had no influence. Such scatter abroad. God is not partial. All who are made partakers of his salvation here and who hope to share the glories of the kingdom hereafter must gather with Christ. Each must feel that he is responsible for his own case and for the influence he exerts over others. If these maintain their Christian walk, Jesus will be with them the hope of glory and they will love to speak forth his praise that they may be refreshed. The cause of their master will be near and dear to them. It will be their study to advance his cause and to honor it by holy living, said the angel. Every talent God will require with usury. Every Christian must go on from strength to strength and employ all his powers in the cause of God.